Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Okay, so Daniel Dubois stops Filip Herkovic in round number eight via a doctor's stoppage due to cuts over the both eyes of Filip Perkovic in the eyebrow region. Now, up to this point, I suppose you could say, up to round number six, you could say it was pretty even, kind of like 3-3 three, three, or maybe just edging a little bit with Herkovic, you could say. But round number seven, Down de Bois just turned it on. He punished Philip Herkovic, absolutely punished him. Caused the second cut over the eye of uh, Filip Perkovic, and Filip Perkovic had no answer. He just quickly, I don't want to say lost heart, but he just had zero, he had nothing left. He had nothing left. And you could argue that maybe the referee deprived Dan Dubois of a seventh round stoppage with the fact that he stepped in and asked the doctor to have a look at Filip Perkovic. During the point where Dan Dubois is looking like he's about to stop Filip Perkovic. And, and, and there weren't too much left of the round either. And as I said, you could argue that the referee bought Filip Perkovic a little bit more time. Round number eight comes out and Dan Dubois is exactly back where he was in round number seven. And, and, and he's just putting it on Filip Perkovic. Herkovic had nothing left. It's like he just gassed or he's tired or he's worried about the cuts. I don't know what was happening. But... The referee then stops the fight again and asks the doctor to have a look at Filip Perkovic and the doctor says that it shouldn't be continuing due to obviously blood going in the eye. The referee calls off the fight. Now, this was a fight of both fighters showing tremendous chins. I mean, both of them were there to be hit and both of them were getting hit flush. So quite how down the bar and Filip Perkovic even got to that point of round number eight is mind-boggling it really is where both of them just pretty much went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the middle of the ring it was a out-and-out -out slugfest is what it was Dan Dubois showed a tremendous chin showed great heart Filip Perkovic showed good heart up until you could say round number seven where he looked like he was starting to either about to get stopped as in knocked out or he was about to give up I'm not too sure which one it was and you could argue that Dan Dubois broke the heart of Filip Herkovic, where leading up to this fight, it was a case of the question marks were still about Dan Dubois, where Filip Herkovic was saying that he doesn't think Dan Dubois has heart. It's kind of flipped the script really, hasn't it? But as I said, up to that point, Dan Dubois was taking some massive, massive shots and giving huge shots as well. He was. Filip Herkovic and Dan Dubois were both in each and every round. Both of them had moments in each and every round. So, Quite how you got it after the halfway point around number six is entirely on you. Now, quite what's going to happen with Down the Bois next. Um, now he's the interim IBF champion. He could well be elevated to full IBF World Heavyweight Champion once it is official, if you like, that the IBF call for current IBF World Heavyweight Champion, undisputed champion, of course, for the, um, Alexander Usyk. Sorry, I'm still in the Herkovic mode at the minute of Down the Bois. Once the IBF call Alexander Usyk to defend the IBF against now Daniel Dubois, obviously Usyk isn't going to do that, in which case he's going to be stripped of the IBF title, and then it could just be handed straight to Daniel Dubois. Or they could postpone that and put it on the line for what looks like it could be an all-British clash between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubois at Wembley Stadium in September. Now, maybe there could be some kind of rematch clause with his Filip Herkovic, maybe there might be one. Um, I'm sure we'll find out in due course. Because obviously, he could have just sat on his position. He didn't have to fight down the bar. He voluntarily done it. So it's going to be interesting to see if there is a rematch clause. It's going to be very interesting. But excellent performance from down the bar. Wasn't pitch perfect, that's for sure. I said, uh, you know, he got hit by some big, big bombs. He really did. And down the bar took him. I think I probably saw his leg stiffen maybe once. But, hey, these are heavyweights. There's no such thing as a heavyweight who can't punch. Okay, so congratulations to Dan Dubois. Fantastic stuff. This is what I wanted to happen. I wanted Dan Dubois to win. I was picking Filip Perkovic, just to be clear, those who haven't seen the um, prediction video. I predicted Filip Perkovic to win, but I wanted Dan Dubois to win. So congratulations to him. Could be interesting to see what happens. Will he be elevated as full IBF world champion? 
very, very shortly? Or will he fight for the vacant belt against Anthony Joshua at Wembley Stadium? Or will he defend the belt against Anthony Joshua? But it looks like that could well be happening. Wilder Zhang result pending, of course. Anyway, well done, Daniel Dubois. Triple D. See, that's the great thing about the heavyweight division. You're only ever one fight away from being right back in the mix. Back-to-back -back wins for him over Big Baby Jared Miller and now Philip Herkovich. Big up. Drop your thoughts below. Click on the subscribe. Catch you next video.